Hello everyone. So today we are going to see Amazon simple email service that is SES using the CLI. Okay, let's see. So basically Amazon SES is an easy and cost effective email platform way for you to send and receive email using your own email addresses and domains. Amazon SES is a cloud based email service built on reliable and scalable AWS infrastructure so that means uh, 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 Amazon SES is uh, having the one of the most feature like you only pay for the what you use so this is same like the other feature so whatever you will going to use you have to pay only for that so let's see a few use cases so SES use cases, marketing email, emails, transaction emails, notification and newsletter emails. We can use for this purpose. So why use Amazon SES? So for, for example, if you want to create uh, your large email solution for business, then uh, it's very complex and costly. And also you need to manage email server management. So Amazon SES uh, eliminates these challenges and will provide you to easy cost effective solution for the bulk email service. So that's why we can use Amazon SES. Next is the uh, limitation of Amazon uh, SES. So SES is currently uh, available only for three below reasons. First one is EU. Ireland we can say and the code is EU West dash one. Second is US West uh, which is uh, US dash West dash two and US East so non Virginia and uh, North Virginia and the code is US East one. So for these three uh, reasons uh, currently it is just providing the SES. So if your instance is on uh, other server, other reasons and I want to use the SS service there's only using this three reasons uh, in this three reason you can use only the SS service so you yeah, have to set uh, your SES configuration things for S is uh, for this three reasons only so email can uh, only be sent to or uh, receive from verified email addresses and domain to reduce the spam attack emails so in the sandbox environment uh, to help and prevent the fraud, uh, fraud and uh, abuse things and to help protect your reputation as a sender amazon applies certain restriction to the new amazon SES accounts so you can only send mail to the verified email addresses and domain in sandbox account you can only send mail from verified email address to any other email addresses and domain in both case sandbox and production you can send one email per second uh, only but uh, you can request AWS support team to increase the rate of uh, limit of short period but not for the forever Email send quota is 200 emails per 24 hours. You can request to increase this limit as well. To request, uh, to request that your account, <coughs> sorry, uh, be removed from the Amazon SES sandbox. So there is a link provided by Amazon, which on which you need to fill up few things and you need to submit that. Then only your sandbox account. Uh, will be moved to production account so this is the link you have to uh, follow this and you have to provide the uh, information and submit that form amazon SES and uh, other aws services so amazon SES can be interacted with the other aws services as, as well uh, SES provide easy apis and we can in integrate it with the other services like S3, KMS, or email, SNS, and Lambda. We can define receipt rule to control incoming emails and route them. 
ACS can route email to AWS S3 or forward it to AWS SNS, even process it via Lambda. So let's see how to configure AWS ACS using the AWS CLI. So we need to follow the steps one by one. So this is the command using we can first uh, register the email address for receiver and, uh, and sender. So first we need to verify email address of sender and then we will verify the email address of receiver. Okay, so using this command, let me copy this command. this command I have added my email address send the email address here you can replace that with uh, your own so let me show you one thing here I have mentioned here the reason the reason is eu dash west test one because uh, this the reason uh, is supported by SEO so I have because my current reason uh, AWS instance is in uh, Another reason that is uh, US East one, which is not uh, supported the SS. So I am mentioning here separately the use reason EU West one, which is supported by S Amazon or SS. So let's copy that. I have added my email address here. You can replace that with here. So we are registering now. Follow my sender email address. Okay. And then we need to verify all. So now we have received email uh, server uh, Amazon email verification email on our this address email address. So we need to verify and confirm that. So you can see here we have uh, received this confirmation email, verification email. So we need to confirm that first. So our registration, you have successfully verified the email address. Sender verification uh, email address revision has been done now. You can also verify this from the console. So as you can see, this is the verification status of our uh, sender email address. So let's verify now our receiver email address. So I am copying this command from you. So this is the this is my second email address. This is taking uh, as a receiver email address. So we should uh, receive our verification email on our receiver email packet. So we can also see status here. So for receiver email address, uh, st status is pending. So until we confirm that email, it, uh, it will not convert into verified. So let me confirm that. So you can see we have received verification email address. Let's just verify it. Let's refresh it. So now you can see both the email address verified and uh, verified now. So both email address which is sender and one is receiver. Verified. Next step is uh, check the list of registered email address. You can also verify from console as well as from CLI. So we have a command from CLI if you want to check from there. You will, you will see there that two email addresses. 
So step four. Now try to send email from sender email ID to receiver email ID. So for which we will use this uh, command. So I copy this. So I have copied that. I have copied that command here, and you can see I have replaced this email ID with the sender and the receiver email IDs. So you can also replace that with your email ID. Or email ID. I have added subject here. So SCS test subject and some text which is the description of our email and reason I have mentioned here. So let me copy this command. And execute it. now message ID that means uh, this email has been sent successfully so we should uh, we should get email now yes so you can see now we have received email this is the subject this is the test description from this uh, sender email ID Uh, thing is uh, like there is uh, some quota which we discuss check about uh, uh, we can send 200 uh, email per user hours so we can check the quota by using this command so that we have the idea how much emails are being used let me check the quota So the command is get dash and dash quota. Yeah, so you can see there is a maximum limit of 200. Send last 24 hours is 1. And that means we have 199 still. And maximum send rate is 1 per second. Okay, so that was regarding the email sending using the SCS and the sending business. And we need to make sure like there is one complex regarding the email using we need to follow that like always follow strictly email marketing and activity specific laws and regulations in the countries and the reason you send email to you are responsible for ensuring that the email you send compiles with this law otherwise Amazon can be sending and receiving and can <coughs> Sorry, can ban your sending and receiving the things. So this means Amazon can ban your email things if you are not following these rules. So guys, just uh, strictly follow that rules, otherwise Amazon can strictly ban you. Okay, guys. So that was regarding today's ACS topic, and uh, if you have any comment. If you have any comment, then you can put that in your phone box. Thank you.